Toro came out with a new gutter cleaning kit that's designed not only to fit Toro blowers, but also most other blowers on the market. This gutter cleaning kit is very simple to put together, but we're going to show you some tips and tricks on how to make it easier on yourself. We're also going to show you how to blow out your gutters while you're standing on the ground and not get covered in everything that comes out of them. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Stick with us. This kit comes with three connection collars, the first of which is a Toro specific collar. This goes on the end of Toro's ultra blower, snaps into place very easily. The other two are more universal. It's going to depend on the blower that you have and the size. But basically, you're going to remove your tube, pick the right blower. This one is a little smaller, so we're going to go with a larger model that would slip over top. Once we've chosen the proper universal connecting collar for our blower, we will take our ratchet strap, click it together once. We'll slide it over top of this universal connection in the farthest in setting. We can slide this back over top of the blower and then we'll use the silver lever to ratchet it tight. Now we don't want to put this on overly tight. All we want to do is stop any movement here. So it doesn't take a lot. Make sure you don't over tighten it. And when we're done with the gutter cleaning system, we'll just take and push on these two wings at the end and that will release it. And we can take this off and put it on easily the next time. At this point, we want to connect the strap to the blower. This is very simple if you're using the Toro Ultra blower and vac. You just slide both loops over top of the handles and then you can adjust the strap. Now, if you're using a different blower, you're going to have to do a little bit of modifications where you slide the strap through, pull this through the loop, And then we'll use the strap to go around the front handle. Now, if your blower does not have a front handle, you'll have to make a different connection up here, which could include zip ties or anything else. But this is very simple. From here, all we have to do is connect our flexible line. This flexible hose is a little bit tighter but all you have to do is just slide it around and you don't want to get this thing super tight. It will become tighter over time. So removing it can be an issue if you go super tight. Remember, you can always tighten it up if needed. The rest of the system simply screws together. Put these in, just make sure they're somewhat straight. You don't want to cross thread anything. They don't have to be overly tight. We're just doing hand tight here. There are some locking uh, bubbles in place at the end, so just screw things together. You'll feel the end where it locks them into place and add as many of these extensions that are needed for the height of the gutter system that you have. Also make sure that you've added a little bit extra so that you're not standing straight under the system as it will kind of blow things directly on you. We're connected here, so all we have to do is connect this tube to our blower. Support this longer tube so you can spin it and from there all we're going to do is screw it in to the flex tube. Now this doesn't have to be screwed in all the way and you want to make sure that it's again not too tight so that you can remove it. These connections can get tighter over time but all you have to do is get it in the right place and you see what I mean about them getting a little tighter but it's still easy to move, so just make sure that you have it in the right position at the end, which is going to be somewhat perpendicular to the blower. And if you have trouble with these, you can also put some silicone spray on them for the next use. Before you start to clean your gutters, make sure that you have ear protection and safety glasses so that just in case anything comes out of the gutters, it doesn't get in your eyes. You have to make sure that you keep both hands on the tubes and angle the tube forward. You want to angle it away from your body and if you stand directly underneath it you're, you're going to find out why you shouldn't because a lot of this stuff will come down right on you. It's best to start at the end of the gutter and work parallel along the gutter blowing the debris forward and away from you. 
try not to approach it perpendicular to the gutter, which kind of can result in you getting dirty again. This system is really not hard to use. You just have to get comfortable with it. And you have to either adjust the strap that's on the blower or just get to a position and judging the wind where things don't blow back in your face or all over you. It's nice not to be on a ladder and it's nice to stay on the ground as long as you have a one-story home that you can get in and get the stuff out of the gutters. And it's also best to make sure that you do this often so that you don't have a large buildup in there. And if things are wet, you can also see that you know, you'll get wet too. So try to do this on a time where things aren't completely soaking wet up there. The system works great, it's easy to use, and it's easy to come apart. Storing the system can be done in multiple different ways, and for me, I'm gonna find it easiest just to keep the box that it came in and unscrew all the parts and put them back in the box. I will, however, leave this flexible connection connected to the universal collar that I'm gonna use. Other than that, this is an easy system to use. It helps you get your gutters clean more often and the cleaner you keep them, the less problems you'll have with debris down the road. I'm always interested in hearing your comments on that. Please leave any comments below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. We appreciate your time, guys. Give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.